The job market is growing, but as it seems, only for some. With thousands of tech job opportunities out there, there are so many people that are lacking the opportunity to fill them. Whether it is because they can't afford tech education or because they were lacking the confidence to dive into the tech world, this is a reality that needs to change. Regular education is teacher-focused. Everything is organized around the scarce resource, the teacher, right? You have to see how to schedule the teacher so it's maximized its impact. What we are looking for and what we are offering is an environment where you really learn to learn the way you want to learn. So we're a student-centered approach. The image of a techie as in, it's someone who sits in a dark room, codes all day, has no social skills, and you yourself would not identify with that person. I believe that many people would flourish in a techie role, but they don't know it yet. At 42 Berlin, we want coding education to be accessible to everyone. It's not an easy task, because on one hand, we want for our program to be accessible to those who have never coded before. On the other hand, we want to provide a high quality coding education on a level comparable to that of a master's degree. The 42 pedagogy makes tech education a lot more accessible for people because it's made for the 21st century. I like to always oppose old school learning, which is very standardized, very passive, with 42 learning, which is very active. So we no longer need to be good at memorizing things, rote learning, uh, basic uh, computation, uh, basic maths. But instead what we need to be good at is how to problem solve, how to collaborate as a team, how to think critically. Everyone, regardless of background, regardless of experience, gender, anything, they can apply for this program. We have a lot of really smart students who study their own way, who study in the middle of the night, who study early in the mornings, who uh, study while running. I think there is no one way of uh, learning something. There are no teachers at 42 Berlin. And with no teachers, there's no one to hold the discipline. How do we keep our students motivated using peer-to-peer -peer learning? What if studying could be as fun as playing a game. We all love to play and that is really what keeps us going when we're looking for intrinsic motivation, which is again at the heart of what makes students and learners successful at 42. Every student, as they progress through the curriculum, they will gain levels, experience points, and we really want people to think of it as a video game. This means that each level that you come across, you'll come across an obstacle and your goal is to overcome this obstacle. And if you fail, well, it really doesn't matter that much because you can just start the level again. In a professional environment, you fail just like you do in all other parts of your life. Now, to overcome failure and to be ready to admit it and to learn from it, is really key in contributing to good organizational culture, to good team culture. So at 42, we celebrate failing, we celebrate learning from failure. It's the most painful experiences that people remember most as transformative and pushing them forward. Building great tech is not a single person's job. It's a team effort that thrives on excellent communication. Coding, in the meanwhile, requires a lot of internal focus, independent thinking, and a great attention to detail. That's why tech education very often purely focuses on developing those coding skills. At 42 Berlin, we'd love to create not only great coders, but also well-rounded individuals who know how to think by themselves, who are great at teamwork and communicate effectively. The 42 curriculum prepares students for future collaboration through a concept that we like to call peer learning. That means you are a student and a teacher at the same time. You teach and evaluate your peers and they do the same to you. In a classroom environment, what we'll do is we'll take away the teacher. So in traditional education, you'd have a teacher that give a solution. But if you take away the teacher and you give 30 students a problem, you will have 30 different ways of coming to that solution. It's not actually the solution that matters at the end of the day. It's how you get to that solution that matters. Collaboration means communication. And in order to interact with your peers and learn and teach them, you need to communicate. And that's one of the skills you hone at 42 besides the coding. 
you will have the tools in hand to be able to overcome any obstacles that you face. And that's what it really is about. Learning the specific technologies is actually something that you need to do continuously. You will be a software development student for the rest of your life. But the ground setup, the motivation, the basics of what a software engineer has to know is absolutely possible to learn in two years from scratch. Our world is tech-centric. From messaging our friends to sending rockets to Mars, there are so many areas your coding skills could contribute to. With that in mind, we need a place that shows us how to code to also show us how to ask relevant questions, how to make our own decisions to build tech with ethics in mind? Well, it's a really central question for me and in fact for all the stuff to see that we are contributing to a transformation of technology to what I call a humanistic conception of technology, really serving the humans. We have very strong values here at 42. Uh, one of my favorites is radical inclusion. We have such a diverse group of people from different cultures, different countries, and by bringing all of these people together into the same room, you're actually learning how to collaborate with people who view differently from you, and it gives this kind of caring feeling that will then influence your work. One of the fundamental values at 42 is collaboration over competition. You are dependent on each other to move forward. This way of working together with other people ensures that you do create something for good and not out of selfish reasons. In that way, collaboration is key, which trumps competition. Code is everywhere. It's literally making up our reality. And that's why we don't want smart people to simply be passive observers of that reality. We want them to actively design it. We want them to have the power and skills to understand the world and to make it a bit better.